Boy cut. Welcome to the vlog, yo. Yeah. What's happening with y'all, man? KT gang, let's get it, man. Huh? It's another one, man. You know what I mean? Lock in with us. Let's go, man. We in the kitchen tonight. Today we doing something a little bit different. I know I say it every night, you know what I mean? That's why I keep trying to do different shit for y'all. You know what I mean? I try to keep it exciting, man. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, anyway, we doing some uh mustard. Infused fried chicken tonight. That's what we doing tonight, man. You know what I mean? I know y'all like, man, then you just have fried chicken for Father's Day and all that. Hey, that's what we do. You know, black folks, we love some fried chicken. You know what I mean? So, um, we just keeping it creative, you know what I mean? Innovative and you know, all that. So, that's what we doing tonight, man. So, you don't want to miss this. Lock in, man. All right, KT gang, let's get it, boy. Shit. All right, y'all, welcome back. All right, y'all, welcome back. Right now your boy shaking and baking, you know what I mean? Got that recipe in here, you know? Like I said, we just tuned in, we doing mustard infused fried chicken. So what I mean by infused is basically, you know what I mean? Just in case y'all are like, okay, what the hell does that mean? I basically just let it sit and baste and mustard in the Heinz mustard for about five, six hours. Normally I would've done a little longer than that, but you know, couldn't wait no more, what can I say? But yeah, y'all, y'all actually walking with me on this because this is actually my first time doing this, so we're going to see what we come up with, all right? Y'all just stick around, man, for the final results, all right? Let's get it, man. It's your boy Cut. I do this on a regular basis, man. That's what we about to do. Make sure y'all can see them things dropping in there. We're going to grab them one by one. See what we got here. We want to shake all the excess flour off of it. At this point, we done got it embedded in there, so we can go ahead and drop it one by one. Drop that in there. See that? We'll grab another one. Do they repeat the process? There we go. Look at that. That's what we're doing. And I actually think I got enough room to maneuver this third one because it's kind of fat, but it's actually smaller than the rest of them. So, you got to know how to maneuver. So, what we're going to do is we're going to throw this one in there. Right there. There we go. Just enough room for those three. So, there we go. Let those do what it do. See that? We're gonna get those nice and crispy and golden. You know, we don't want them burnt. But we want it right though. So we doing, man. That's how it's going out at Cut's Kitchen, man. Also, to go with that, we're gonna do the scallop. You better crocker. Joints that got right here, we're gonna do those, the scallop potatoes. And we're doing some black eyed peas tonight, you know what I mean? Keeping it in a nice southern fashion, man. That's what we're doing tonight. That's how it's going down. KT's world, KT gang, let's get it, boy. Shit. All right, huh? How y'all living out there, man? Hope everybody's doing well, man. You know, just praise God, man. Just, just for being here. You understand? It's a lot of people not being fortunate enough to wake up the next day. You know what I mean? It's a lot of crazy things going on in this world. You know, I ain't got to tell y'all that. Y'all know, cause y'all living with me, right? Right. But um, it is what it is, man. Like I said, that's. It's always somebody out here going through something worse than you, man. That's what I want to say, man. Always, man. Just when you think you done hit rock bottom, it's somebody that's underneath those rocks, you know what I mean? And trying to climb up out of that, man, you know? So just keep that in mind, man. Keep your head in the sky, man. So, you know. But yeah, anyway. Get it back on the food. All right, Let's see what's happening. And I like to keep a nice little close watch on my chicken. As you can see, we don't have it high at all. Those of y'all who've been with us since the beginning know that uh, 
our stove and oven working very high Watson is, so we definitely got to keep our eyes and can't go too far anyway when we're cooking in here, so that's just a part of it. But, um, yeah, I've adapted and learned, you know, pretty much know how to work the system in here, you know what I mean? So now I got to, you know, <laughs> if you can see my joint, I probably got it like just on five literally right now, you know what I mean? That's what we're doing. I normally have it on six, but I'm bringing it down a little bit because we ain't in no hurry. We ain't in no rush. We want to get it right. You know what I mean? Get it right the first time. I don't do no repeats. You know what I mean? No, I don't want to repeat nothing. Let's get it, all right? So we're going to let this do its thing for a minute. Or however long it takes, you know what I mean? Then we'll be back and we're going to flip it over, all right? So y'all just stay tuned, man. King and T Gang, let's get it. Shit. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog, Doug. Yeah. Just tuning in, man. That's what we doing, man. Doing the honey mustard chicken tonight. Well, no, no honey. I was gonna do the honey mustard, so let me correct myself, cause I was thinking about that. Maybe it's still on my mind, but that's probably the next video. You know what I mean? Next time around. But we just doing the mustard fried chicken. That's what we doing tonight, right? Mustard fried chicken, and I'm um, um, just now about to turn it over. Get to see what we doing over here, right? Good. Nice little scoop and flip. And so these are looking very gorgeous right now, as you can see. Whoa, I don't want to slip now. Whoa. There we go. See, I'm I'm being ambidextrous right now. Ambidextrous I cook with either hand. <laughs> Shout out to AR, free AR app, you know what I mean? Yeah. What you doing right now? I'm gonna flip it over, man. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I'm gonna make it happen, all right? Y'all just watch. Yeah, there we go. It's okay if we get a little bit of flour on that, because it's gonna cook. I'm gonna turn it over again, sir. There we go. Set. All right. See, we got a nice little golden brown. See that? What we doing, man? That's how it's looking. Precision, man. You see that? Precisely, man. That's how we do it. That's how it's going down, man. It smells lovely in here, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That's how we doing it, man. Shit! Huh? That's what we doing, man. That's how it's going down, man. We doing, man. I can't wait to eat this, man. Like I said, it's my first time ever trying this, so. Yo, pretty much walk through this with us, man. This process, all right? So, we go ahead and let these do their thing, man. We're gonna pause this section for a second, and we're gonna get right back to y'all, all right? So y'all stay tuned, all right? All right, y'all, we back. I'm just gonna adjust my pan a little bit, put a little bit more oil around the edges. Reach the sides a little bit, you know what I'm talking about? Just a little bit, you know? And we don't with those. I ain't a big fan of oil. I don't like to use a lot of oil, so what we doing here. That's how it's looking right now so far. Y'all comment down below, man, how it's looking so far, man. And let me know if y'all ever tried this mustard fried chicken, man, and how it come out. How's y'all recipe turn out? Let me know, all right? Comment down below. Spam it up. Comment section. Let me know what's happening. Like I said, this was just a spirit moment thing. I said we did just have chicken recently, but um, I happened to know it was a couple of pieces of breast that was in the refrigerator. We had the frosted, so... I ain't about to waste them, so might well put them to use. Make something happen with it, so why not? So that's what your boy decided to do today, the mustard fried chicken, man. So we gonna see what it's, you know, what it's hitting for, all right? We gonna see what it's hitting for. All right? Yeah, so far, so good. So you don't want to rush your chicken. And one thing I always do when I'm dealing with the meats and poultry is I always try to poke holes, you know. Poke holes all through the meat, all the way around on both sides. That's what I did with this, you know. That's one of the first things. That is the first thing I did after I cleaned the meat, you know. Let it sit in salt, warm salt water, let it sit for a while, get all that nasty germs and all that stuff over there, bacteria. Then I commence to poke holes all through the meat, you know. Through all the breasts, poke holes through the front and back sides. Bam, 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 bam. 
time we hit it, you know what I mean? Get it right like that. Then after that, I had it laid there, and I decided to go ahead and put my mustard on there, you know what I mean? So I spread the mustard all over him evenly, you know, with a spoon, got it over there, and I put a little bit more over there. Then I put my seasons all on top of it, let it go ahead and marinate and get in there. And I flipped it over, on it behind, you know, and I did the same thing, repeat the process, man. And then voila, I put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for about, you know, like I said, about five hours, something like that, you know, proximity. And that's what we at right now. So it's looking like, man. Like I said, it's smelling very, very tasty in here, man. I can't wait to go ahead and, you know, sink my teeth into the one of these, you know? Maybe two. We'll see. I have to make sure my kids, my boys, they definitely eat this. My kids, you know, my boys be picky with food, so they don't always get to eat these lovely entrees that I be serving and chefing up for y'all, you know what I mean? Sometimes they be want to eat other things and be difficult, you know, but that's kids. I don't remember being that way. Maybe I was when I was a kid, I just don't remember, you know what I mean? But, hey, whatever, it is what it is. But tonight is one of those nights that they definitely waiting on their daddy's food, so. Gotta try to get their reaction from can. And just to let y'all know, y'all, for my batter or for my uh, flour enhancer, I like to call it. The only thing I did was put some of this in there. I use my roasted garlic and herb, you know, the grill mix. The boy keep the grill mix on the deck. Bong, bong, bong. Got to have that. Paprika. Need that paprika, you know. That's the McCormick recipe and all that. Some black pepper. And then uh, also I did put some garlic powder in there as well, all right? I can't remember if I used the onion powder, but I normally do, so I may have missed that on this one, but uh, we'll just go ahead and put it over there anyway for sake. Argument. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna come back to y'all and continue this video, all right? After we finish these first three pieces of chicken, so y'all can see how they came out, all right? So y'all just stay tuned, man. All right, y'all, we ready to go ahead and take our first batch of chicken out. So let me go ahead and do that. So I can see what's happening over here, all right? I want to grab it, you know, out of the pan. I make sure I shake off the excess little grease that may be hanging on and lingering on. You don't need any of that, and then I'll go ahead and place it on my pan like that. Grab the next one. And do the same. Alright. Grab that. Now one more here. Grab that. Now we ready for our next batch. Give me a race no time. They already ready. They already ready, y'all ready. Alright, so. It's a lot of. Got an extra flour in there. We'll put that on top of that. I don't want to waste none of that. Let's put that all on top of there. It's okay if you make a mess, you know what I mean? There we go. Alright, like I said, we're going to shake off the excess. We're going 
drop it on in there. There you go. Last one. Yeah, there we go. I still got some left. I can actually save this for another occasion if I like, you know. But I probably won't because I hate when I end up throwing that back in the refrigerator and end up leaving it for like, to be stuck in there like a week. And I'll be like, man, what in the world? So, yeah. So avoid all that because I probably won't be frying chicken for a while. So, probably be tossing that. So I got my second batch in there, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and let it do its thing, all right? We're gonna um, come back to y'all, man, in a few minutes, all right? So y'all just stick around, all right? Let's get it, man. KNT gang, let's go. All right, y'all, welcome back to the vlog, Joe. Yeah, in case you're just tuning in, man, look what we got going in here, man. This is your boy doing it here tonight, man. Ty's going down to cut kitchen, man. We got that mustard fried chicken, man. That's what we doing tonight, mustard fried chicken. Got some black eyed peas over here simmering, doing their thing over here. And we got some scalloped potatoes over here, you know, boiling, you know what I mean? We about to get it in tonight, man. It's a regular day, man. We do this every day. That's how I go down every day at Cut's Kitchen, man. You heard me? Huh? Get in tune with it, man. That's what we do, man. I do this, man. We're looking at gifted hands right here. God bless these hands right here. <laughs> you hear me? Real. Mm. I ain't eight yet, Lamar Ray, you know what I mean? That's how serious it is over here, you know what I mean? That's how it goes down. That's how it goes down to Cut's Kitchen, man, you understand? Huh? Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna put a little flip on these chicken. I got chicken well done over here, man. I don't want it iffy. Like well done. Get some light little flip on that thing. Shake it up. I'm doing it. Put it back there. That's what we doing, man. So we can go ahead and let that marinate and do its thing, man. Let's see, I'll probably give it like another two flips. On both sides of the chicken, you know what I mean? Make sure it's that nice, juicy texture that I'm looking for. So, y'all just keep it locked, man. It's almost that time, man. The kids ain't got impatient and all that, so they don't wind up going to 7 Eleven with the store to grab something. I'm like, really? Food almost done. Y'all gonna spoil it, but hey, it is what it is, man. We're gonna get it in anyway, all right? So, just you wait. All right, y'all. We back. At this time, I'm pretty much ready to go ahead and take my chicken off. I just got it, you know, on lower temperature right now, just letting it do its thing. Cause I like to eat my food all at the same time. I want it all hot, you know, I don't want to have to warm nothing up. So, it's all about timing, man. So, this time I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken off to be ready. And we're gonna get ready to plate this thing, you got it? Y'all gotta excuse me, man. I'm doing it by myself tonight, so it is what it is, all right? Y'all just bear with me, all right? And get this going. We can get it done now. I'm going to turn this off at this time because I'm done with my chicken. It's complete. And I got my potatoes, my scalloped potatoes over here still simmering, as well as my black eyed peas. But I'm going to turn those off too simultaneously so I can feel with you here. Chicken off one by one. Nice and golden, just the way we want it. And I'm about to give y'all a nice close up shot of that so y'all can see for yourself, right? 
Honey, carrots when I get some, come and see it for yourself. Excuse me, y'all, but y'all know I try to clean up behind myself as I go along, so. You subscribe that been here from the beginning. You know that already, though, right? Right. If you knew, it's all good, you know what I mean? You know it now, you know what I mean? Your boy like to clean up behind itself, you know what I mean, as I go along, so when I'm done, I ain't got shit to wash. Cause I'm too, you know what I mean? I get the eye this quick after I eat, and I'm allowed to be asleep like 15 minutes after this or something, you know what I mean? If I ain't got something important to do, some business to take care of, so. So we gotta handle it. So yeah, so y'all gonna show y'all the chicken, so what we looking like. See that? Yeah. You see that? Is that what your boy did? Let me put a spin around that. Bring it that way for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, golden wrap. It's that golden, man. I normally would put it in the oven, but it's too damn hot right now. It's summertime, so I ain't got to put it in the oven no more to um, make it extra hot. That's good enough for your boy, you know what I mean? And I uh, had set my timer to be everything done at 7.51, so basically I'm just waiting for my potatoes. My black eyed peas is already ready, so pretty much ready to eat here, man. So Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Comment down below, all right? Comment down below. It's important y'all comment down below. Like this video. Share this video, man. Y'all rocking with KNT Gang, man. Share this video, all right? And give it a thumbs up, man. You understand? It's way too many. We got a lot of subscribers. Not a lot, but you know, we passed 1K plus, so there's no reason we should be getting a little bit more likes and some more views than we get. You know what I mean? Some of y'all ain't getting any notifications, so y'all. Disregard them. What's the point of turning them on if you're gonna disregard them? You know what I mean? Y'all make sure y'all check that bell, man. You know what I mean? Shake that bell, whatever you gotta do to make sure it's on your phone, whatever device you use, you understand? KNT gang, KNT's world. You know what I mean? About to sound off, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all a um, final plate because I know y'all wanna see what it look like. And plus, I need to make a thumbnail, so y'all just sit tight, alright? Shit! Alright, y'all. Moment has finally arrived, y'all, with that final plate and what it looked like. Shit, 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 shit. Huh? Your boy done did it again, ain't it? Huh? Yeah, I done did it again. Yeah, I have, man. Like I say, this is the very first time. If you're tuning in, very first time we did this honey mustard. Well, damn, I really want that honey mustard fried chicken on some kind of bag because I done said it again. We're doing the mustard. As I like to call it, mustard infused fried chicken, man. That's what we doing, man, with the scalloped potatoes and the black eyed peas, you know what I mean? It's that southern home style cooking right here. You can only get, you know, when you go to the country and visit your people, get mosquito bites and all that shit all on you, you know what I mean? Only kind of way you can get that type of eating. <laughs> y'all comment down below, y'all know what I'm talking about, yeah. I hope y'all like this video, man. Hope y'all like this video. Comment down below, y'all share the video, you know, subscribe, watch it more than once, watch it twice if you like, three times a charm, you know how that go, <laughs> alright, but yeah, your boy Cut signing off, man, we out of here, man, be blessed, one.